Hey guys, Minecraft was loving here, and today I'm going to show you guys the invasion mod. And, uh, what this mod does is uh, it adds quite a few items and some mobs to the game, and uh, one of these is, uh, or items, is called the Nexus. And uh, this is what makes the mobs spawn, and they will attack and come after you, and basically capture this block, and then they will despawn, I believe. And, uh, yeah, so basically you don't want them to get to the Nexus. And, um, but anyways, uh, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you some of the items on how to create it. And then we'll start off with a couple waves or so. But, uh, over here we have a phase crystal. And, Piggy, you're going to have to get away from me. Uh, alright, calm down. Alright, so we have a phase crystal. You need two lapis lazulis. And uh, two redstone and one diamond in the middle, and you're gonna get a pretty phase uh, phase crystal. Uh, pretty, it looks pretty nice. And uh, also we have the nexus, which is up there. And what you need is the phase cr cr uh, crystal, three redstone, and one block of obsidian, and you are going to get the nexus. And uh, over here we also have. Uh, slightly glowing remnants, and uh, I believe these are from the mobs. When you kill them, you're gonna get these, and uh, you're gonna get at least nine or higher. And you're gonna put it uh, three by three, at least nine, and you're gonna get a reflux. And uh, now we have a cow on the chest, and you can make these reflux to be able to create diamonds, redstone, or iron ingots and uh... yes you can make regular tools with these since it is a diamond but um... anyways for a diamond you need three rift flux going up and down in the middle or i don't think it probably work on the left and right sides but uh... you get one diamond from that uh... if two rift flux for the diamonds not the diamonds the redstone you're gonna get twenty four redstone which is quite a lot, and uh, one red flux for four iron ingots, and yeah, so pretty nice, useful. Um, we also have like enchantments. We have infused sword. Uh, you need a regular diamond sword and three red flux. Is uh, uh, we also have a searing bow and five red fluxes. One bow, and you're gonna get the searing bow. So I might as well take these. And I'm going to use them against the enemy just for protection. And um, this is how you activate the Nexus. Uh, you're going to get a Nexus Catalyst. I believe that's how it's pronounced. You need one bowl, one redstone, a rotten flesh, and one piece of bone. Um, looks nice, I guess. Not early. Um, yeah, so we got the Catalyst. And uh, we have the mobs right now or over here on the signs uh, we have a zombie grunt and the grunts are just basically zombie grunts they act like regular zombies except that they can break through the uh, walls and uh, they can break through obsidian so yeah not too really helpful in this sort of situation we have also have spiders I don't think they have a special use basically like the same regular spider Skeletons, same, shoot arrows, and uh, we have a unnamed siege mount, and what I saw on the forums is it looks like a, basically a giant, but uh, it throws, I believe, things at you, like basically just boulders, yeah that's right, boulders I think, um, but I don't know if it'd be like a regular block or anything. Uh, that's what it said. We also have Pig Engineer, which basically scales a wall or climbs it with a ladder, allowing other mobs to be able to climb it and cross over onto the wall. So, yeah, we have a pretty good map that I spawned on, and I'm wondering how it's going to be since there is a forest out there, and I wanted to see where they actually will be able to spawn. Um, so I can know where to attack first, but, uh, yeah, let's, guys, let's start off. And so when you right-click the Nexus, it's already on level 1, and, uh, this is where you place the Nexus Catalyst. 
right there and it's activating and it's asking if you're sure if you want to do it if you're not sure just take it out until the time runs out and we have also had the mobs killed and I don't know what that means but R45 but um so yeah let's let's get ready all right there we go this bolts live is now bound to the nexus the first wave is coming soon let's get ready all right, so yeah, there we go. We got some zombie grunts over there, and I believe that they get sh uh, tougher when they, uh, if you, they last longer, and so you basically want to kill them first right away. What is that? Is that the giant? It looks not that. I think that's a tree. Let's kill those zombie grunts, anyways. Um, uh, there we go. Yeah, so I wonder if. If it's like the same effect as a regular bow, as a searing bow is used. And, uh, oh, yeah. So you get, holy cow. That, oh, there we go. So basically, you need for the searing bow to actually work. Um, well, actually, properly. Is there, where'd he go? Um, but, anyways, yeah, there we go. So you need to have a full charge until it lights the spider or something. That you attacked on fire, and I don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you're able to create these and attack them with regular mobs. And let's get this on fire. More zombies are coming. Great. All right. So yeah, the rounds get tougher, and uh, as you go. So let's see how this works. There we go. So yeah, it's pretty easy first couple of rounds and I wonder if that is the only things that spawned yet alright what is attacking what is that oh there we go 95 95% oh gosh no. that is cheating wow that was weird oh wow I'm gonna pay attention to these why are they coming holy cow so yeah keep this wave going yeah so that was what the pig engineer did or does uh, climbs over on the wall wait oh wow um let's see anything else uh, what's so crazy it is when I'm not paying attention so yeah there we go with the pig engineer climbed up with a ladder no where, where's the ladder come from oh right there uh, and basically just Kept on building blocks to get up here. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got a rip flux. Oh no, that is how you get the rip flux. And so every single wave you pass, you get those. But I don't know where you come from. The slightly glowing remnants. Um, anyways, so yeah, we got the rip flux. It's so basically every round you get a rip flux. I believe that's how it goes. And um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Alright, you're never going to capture this, especially when I'm up here. Alrighty, unless I get over with them. Oh, what was that from? Pretty insane. Holy cow, looks like the sword is pretty, dies out pretty fast, but it is pretty powerful. Alright. Surprised how these pigs and the, that pig and the cow is still in here. All right, so yeah, if you would like the zombie flesh, you'll be able to collect that as well and the experience, which is very useful. Ah, I see. The sword recharges after a while if you don't use it. So, um, probably should just wait for that if it breaks or not. No, get away. Get away. There we go. What? Ah, great. Yeah, get you off. Alright, almost done. Yeah. So you can attack mobs, or not mobs, regular farm animals. And, yeah. So that's pretty nice. Wow, you broke my music. No, I don't know. Um, but anyways, we got, no we didn't, why didn't we get a reflux? 
Oh yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so anyways, huh, that's pretty confusing, uh, getting confused there. I believe that is how you get the reflux, maybe? Like, the time you survived. So maybe let's wait a bit. See what happens. Alright. Yeah. So this bar on the side loads up on how long you have survived. Not after every single round. But uh, you get the reflux after the time you have survived. So if you want this mod, the link will be in the description. As well as too many items. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and see ya.